Hi, I'm Paige Redinger, watch and jewelry editor for Rob Report, here with Leipa Galeb from Mitsahara to talk jewelry and all things diamonds. Actually, so, tell us what Misahara means and how you came up with that name. So Misahara, uh, M-I, is my um, one of my dearest friends from South Africa. And then Sahara is after my children, Sara, Mara, and Harrison. I love so that. So it was a con combined kind of effort of putting a name together that had meaning. Tell us about your beautiful jewelry that you have here. Well, most of my jewelry, like what you see here, is well, everything has a story um, based on inspiration. There's always a representation of Mother Nature in all my stories of the collections. Well, I want to hear about the necklaces that you're wearing, the diamonds. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do a whole different look on chains. We did it off of four of my favorite cities, and we did different colors, different textures and added a spin to a new whole chain look. As Which four cities? So favorite four cities, yeah. of course, New York City where Miss Sahara is made. Yep. Paris has always been from the time I was a little child in Rome is uh, in San Francisco where I live, you know, San Francisco yeah. Bay Area. You grew up in a family of jewelers, correct? No, so I grew up, well, I grew up in a Balkan family. Okay. My mother's side of the family, they were jewelers. Okay. But I grew up going back to Yugoslavia. So right. I was more aligned with my father's culture. Uh -huh. So I spent most of my summers in Yugoslavia on the farm. And then it wasn't until later on when I just, I gravitated toward fashion no matter what. Yeah. And, and um, living around the world, you just, you gravitate. Why jewelry, not clothes, for instance? I think my husband was the one who said, you're more talented, like, because I love to put clothes together and everything too, but he's like, go into the jewelry business. Like, he, Interesting. he pushed me to go to New York. Very cool. Yeah, cool husband. Hmm. Very cool husband. I yeah. Know. I know, we have each other's back. <laughs> I love it. So tell us where you would and would not wear your diamonds. This is the kicker. I wear my <laughs> diamonds in the sea, the ocean. I, I, I believe you wear your jewelry when you want to wear your jewelry. Yeah. And it's meant to be worn and it's meant to have a little bit of wear and tear. It could always get fixed. When you wear your jewelry, you have to feel good. Yeah. It makes you feel good. So anywhere that's in a natural environment that's beautiful, I wear my jewelry. Well, thank you so much for sharing your beautiful jewelry with us. I appreciate it.